We're back at the 2024 IBJJF Pan Jiu-Jitsu Championships. We got the lightweight final coming up. Jenaina Lebre of Art of Jiu-Jitsu taking on Sabrina Gondim of Fratres Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Jenaina on the left-hand side of your screen in the white gi. Sabrina on the right-hand side in the blue gi. Here we go. This is Jenny Lebre's first major black belt tournament representing Art of Jiu Jitsu. Her first tournament was the Los Angeles Open where she won double gold. Now she's at a major tournament in the final here at Lightweight. Made the switch. Competed at the LA Open, correct, Danny? Yep. Got double gold there. Pulling right on the edge of the mat. It's a rematch from the 2023 World Championships where Jen Aina defeated Sabrina by referee's decision. Very close match. Jen Aina had two matches leading into this final. Won both of them by submission. There's some pretty unique submissions, Jake. It looked like she almost just pressured her opponents from the mount position, got them to tap. That's the kind of pressure Janaina Lebre has on top. I don't want to call it a smother choke, but it certainly looked like it had all the, all the makings of one, but definitely a lot of pressure forcing her opponents to tap. That's just the kind of strength that Janaina possesses. And now she's at a place where she can let it all hang out here in the final. One thing that Janaina does quite often is pulling out the lapel and uh, alternating between using the lapel on the arm and using it on the leg. So you're right there trying to feed that right hand. She's a grip on the knee. Janine Labre won the female IBJJF Grand Prix. Taking out big names in that tournament. Also a two-time world silver medalist. Made the world's final in 2022 and 2023. Had some incredible matches with Fionn Davis. And she talked about her motivation for going over to AOJ. And a lot of it was to try and improve upon that second place finish that she's had two years in a row at the Worlds. Both Jenaina and Sabrina looking for their first black belt pan titles. Nearly three minutes into this lightweight final. And Aina trying to walk her legs up past that lapel under the arm, over the arm. Now an underhook with her left arm. Now standing up. Sabrina maintaining good posture in the closed guard. Back to her feet. Looks like she's going to try and get her right knee in the middle. Now Jenaina wrapping up her right leg in the lapel. Now out in the open. 
See how Jemaina tries to attack from either side. Goni making a grip on the bottom. See if she can elevate the hips a little bit. She needs to deal with this lasso if she wants to pass to his left side, though. Jemaina trying to reach for a grip with that right hand. Pull Sabrina's legs closer to her. You see her scooting her hips in. I think she's looking for that right angle. What do you think, Jake? Right angle, your ankle, excuse me. Could be reaching all the way through for that right ankle. That is an attack that is very common nowadays with that lapel. She could also be looking for the near side. Oftentimes competitors can reach for that ankle, and if they can find it and feed the lapel all the way through, they have an option there. If they can catch the other leg, then they can do the double trouble, fighting for the arm and then going to the leg and vice versa. Sabrina really working to keep her hips and her legs back to avoid control of either of her ankles by Jen Aina. Jaina inverting now. Oh, here we go. Much better position to sweep. She has the arm all the way underneath. Double wrap the lapel around her leg. That looks like it's going to be a hard grip to get out of. Very much so, Danny. I feel like she could also use her right knee. If she were able to bring her right knee in a more powerful position, she could even stomp her left foot on the ground. Now it's going to be a little more difficult. The foot's up, but she could even use that to tilt sweep. Jenny, let's go with the lapel grip with her right arm. Back into the close guard. Still underhooking the leg with her right arm. Three minutes now. Nearly 100% of this fight spent in the closed guard or around the closed guard. Sabrina staying really tight on top. Jenna trying to attack. Looks like she might have been trying to attack that right arm of Sabrina. Sabrina pulls her elbow back. Janaina Lebre, Sabrina Gondim, 0-0. Zero, zero. Two minutes, 36 seconds left. This is your lightweight final at the 2024 Pan Jiu Jitsu Championships. Both Janaina and Sabrina looking for their first black belt pan gold medal. I feel like Janaina has been the aggressor in this match. Would you agree, Jake? He's definitely been mixing things up and trying to throw submissions out there. But a lot of time spent in the lapel guard as well. Godim has not really found opportunities to pass to the side. So if you're going to give it to activity, I would say that Jenna Inamaya has been very active. Two minutes. It's going to be very difficult to do a double underpass when the leg is entangled in the lapel like that.
Under 90 seconds left. No points on the board. Janaya is still trying to work with this lapel grip. Now she lets it go. Feeding it to the other side, getting a little bit more active now. Really fighting for this opportunity. Dipping to the side and trying to invert with only one minute to go. Janaida fighting hard to invert still and fold it entirely in half. Godim is doing a great job keeping her base. She's keeping that right knee all the way to the floor, even putting her toes back. Thirty-five seconds. Janaida doing everything she can to try to knock Sabrina off her base, but Sabrina's base is just so solid on top, Jake. This is a good look heading into a ref's decision, though. She's actively trying to sweep. And Godim is looking for an opportunity to get that lapel out, but she's unable to get clear of it. Trying to keep her base really heavy to not give up the score. It puts her in a tough spot. Now trying to use the other foot to force the sweep. Both athletes confident that they've done enough to get it done. It's all going to come down to a ref's decision here in the lightweight final. And let's see who the judges decide. And it's going to be Jenna Lebre who wins her first pan title. She's your lightweight champion here. And that's now four gold medals for Art of Jiu Jitsu. They've won every single final so far. We had the opportunity. Pretty incredible stuff, Jake. Danny, we had the opportunity to speak with Hedges Lebre before the, the, the final started. And he just said, man, I have an opportunity to witness us go in this sort of a way with all these victories. And they went out there and they made it happen. All smiles in the Labre family here. Let's take a look at a replay. Jenna and Labre controlling the lapel grip, trying to open up and sweep for the majority of that match. Tried a bunch of different angles, bunch of different attacks. She gets the ref's decision, wins her first black belt pan title. Her first major title representing Art of Jiu-Jitsu.